now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Temperatures climbing, but not quite as fast as they did yesterday. We have more of a westerly wind developing at about 7 right now. And dew point values are warm, coming in at 74. So we have a feels like temperature already at 92. And we'll no doubt will our feels like temperature will get up close to 100 again today. As our air temperature probably gets close to the 92 mark once again. It's at 85 currently, and we have a mix of fair weather clouds and sunshine. 90 by 12, I'd say. Uh, 92, rather, by 3 p.m. And then as we head into the 7 p.m. hour, about 80. There it is, crisp, and it's got a very well-defined eye on radar, beginning to move away from the from the radar beam far enough away that it, it, it's having a hard time seeing it. But a very clearly defined eye there for a while, and the cloud pattern very symmetric, indicating you know, a strong, strong tropical cyclone. Even if it is still classified as a tropical storm, it's most likely going to be a hurricane a little bit later today. Some of the outflow of that triggered off showers and thunderstorms out in Gulf waters, and they will continue out there. That northeasterly wind aloft kind of keeping them offshore, even though we've had some flashes of lightning. We're not seeing a whole lot in the way of anything over land right now and really don't expect to see a whole lot with the sea breeze building. We might catch an isolated shower or two. I put the rain chance at about 10% and that's really about it. I don't think we'll go higher than that. Out in the uh, Gulf waters, about 80, 90 miles offshore, we've had some pretty persistent good cells, and we've had some flashes of lightning as well. That might be some of the outflow of that might be aiding the sea breeze a bit this afternoon. So you're taking a look at uh, Chris, and clearly you've got a nice defined eye right here. You've got a very symmetric cloud pattern. Um, the, the dry air that was being entrained into the system seems to have stopped a little bit for a while, I think. It's also on the move now. You can see the, the difference between where it originally started 12 hours ago and where it is now. I mean, it's a pretty good distance. It's beginning to move a little bit. So that's important because when it was just basically stationary, moving at one or two miles per hour, it was pulling up a lot of cold water from underneath of it, and that's the reason the Hurricane Center says they're keeping it as a tropical cycle, keeping it as a tropical storm and not upgrading it to a hurricane, even though it's pretty close to that. There's what's left of barrel down to the south of us. There's the dry air that continues to kind of pour in over the panhandle of the state. It's going to have its effect, that dry air over the state of Florida. It's going to have the effect of that dry air begin to lessen over the course of the next several days, I think. And we'll probably see a few more showers up to the north of us. Uh, there's what's left over of barrel right now producing very heavy rainfall over Hispaniola. As it lifts northward, and it is forecast to do that, there's a possibility it could develop, strengthen a little bit, and then the forecast models carry it out to sea, picked up by a trough of low pressure. Same thing's going to happen with Chris. Right now, 70 mile an hour winds. If it gets up uh, another four, five, six miles per hour later on this afternoon, it'll be classified as a hurricane. It's forecast also to take off into the northeast and then eventually carried across the Labrador currents close to England as we head into Sunday. So we'll see if that happens or not. But again, not a problem for the United States still. The forecast for the seven days ahead include 92 for a forecast high today. Maybe it might not be quite that warm. 92 tomorrow, again, about a 10% chance of showers. And then we start moistening things up and getting a little bit better rain chance as we head into the weekend.